I sit and stare stupidly at his luggage by the walls. He takes out his prismatic compass and explains it to me, but I cannot see. And when a tear drops onto it, he just shuts it up and puts it away. Then he takes a book out of his pocket. You see, your Shakespeare's sonnet is already where it will always be. Shall I read you some? He reads one or two to me. His face is grey, and his mouth trembles, but his voice is quiet and steady. And soon I slip to the floor and sit between his knees, and while he reads, his hand falls over my shoulder, and I hold it with mine. Shall I undress you by this lovely fire, and carry you upstairs in my khaki overcoat? So he undoes my things, and I slip out of them. Then he takes the pins out of my hair, and we laugh at ourselves for behaving as we often do, like young lovers. I hide my face on his knee, and all my tears so long kept back come convulsively. I cannot stop crying. My body is torn with tremble sobs. I'm engulfed in this despair like a drowning man by the sea. My mind is incapable of thought. So we lay all night, sometimes talking of our love and all that had been, and of the children, and what had been amiss and what right. We knew the best was that there had never been untruth between us. We knew all of each other, and it was right. So talking and crying and loving in each other's arms, we fell asleep as the cold reflected light of the snow crept through the frost-covered windows. In Flanders Fields by John McRae May 1915 In Flanders Fields the poppies blow Between the crosses row on row That mark our place And in the sky the lark still bravely singing fly Scarce heard amid the guns below We are the dead Short days ago we lived Felt dawn, saw sunset glow Loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields.